Here is my case. Well, Newcastle will win that derby. Okay, why am I making this video? Here goes. Benitez, he's a top manager, one of the best in Europe. He was the manager of Real Madrid. One of the hardest jobs you could wish to have. He was, he was successful with Liverpool. Successful with Napoli. So... And he's looked at Newcastle, he's come in and he's seen he can do something here. And he can rescue them. Or well, we could be looking at the training ground this week, thinking, my word, I can't do nothing with this team. They're useless, they're hopeless, they are rubbish. And actually, you better be thinking how to keep Benitez in the championship, because if they keep him in the championship, He'll clear all that rubbish out and he will get that team back in the Premier League and get them in the right place. But if these players do pull their socks up and prove they're worthy of that Newcastle shirt under Benitez, they will stay up and they will beat Sunderland. Simple as that. I mean, let's face facts. Sunderland are not the best team in the Premier League. They need a defense. They need better players. The reason Sunderland are down there is probably exactly the same reason Newcastle are down there. They're not the. They both have pretty poor squads. Now, as I said, I think Newcastle will win four-two against Sunderland. That's the score that came into my head. I think this is where Newcastle will shine in this derby. And that's how they will move on and move out of danger. Should some of the fans be worried if they lose this derby? Not really. Norwich could be coming good at last. Great result against Man City. But there are two teams that I think could still be relegated. Number one, Swansea. Yeah, they beat Arsenal, but Arsenal... What can you say about Arsenal? Good result, bad result. Great result against Tottenham. Then they lose to Watford in the FA Cup. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense out of that. As for Crystal Palace, they've, all, they've not won a game since December. Yes, they're in the FA Cup semi-final. But in the Premier League, they are falling apart. Alan Pardew. What can I say? If Newcastle Norwich start coming good, Crystal Palace fans better start panicking. Yes, they could surprise everybody and win their first ever FA Cup. But they could also do a Wigan and get relegated back to the Championship. And that's why I think Newcastle can stay up. Even Sutherland can stay up because you've got two teams falling like a lead weight. Swansea, it, I don't know, they could go down if Norwich improve, then Swansea could fall down, and you never know, you, Newcastle fans could be celebrating next season as their team move up the table in the right direction, because they've got a magnificent support, and so have Sunderland. You know, Sam Allardyce is a fantastic manager, and he could he could turn Sutherland also into a decent team, get them rising up the table. But I'm going to tell you now, same as Newcastle, Sutherland are in the same boat. A lot of them players are bloody useless. John O'Shea, he's not one of my favourite players. He has cost Ireland so many times. Yes, he. Got that amazing equaliser against Germany, which made it 1 1. Anybody remember what he did against Scotland? <laughs> exactly. And he has cost Ireland so many times, it's unbelievable. Anyway, that's my case why Newcastle will win the derby. <coughs> anyway, let's. Change to channels to subscribe to. 
Channel number one, the True Mackham. No, I said True Mackham, not True Geordie. You all know the True Geordie is, so you've probably already sucked to it. The True Mackham, pure passion for football and Sutherland Football Club. True supporter. I'm telling you now, sup to him. He is brilliant. Really, really good videos. Proper in depth videos. Absolutely brilliant. The next one I'm going to tell you to sub to. Number two, LUFC Vlogs. I'll leave all the links below. Young lad does Leeds United videos and top five football related videos, and he's fantastic. He just gets better and better with every video. Could it be a young Jeff Stelling in the making? I'll tell you, sub to him. You'll absolutely love him if you love football. And last but not least, not being biased, the Italian Gilles. There you go, Woodland. What a surprise. We've got an Italian supporter supporting Gillingham Football Club. Not just this mad Irish Swiss boy. <laughs> Or oh, man, whatever you want to call me. You're probably going to call me that anyway. <laughs> but he's brilliant. He does the preview first. Tells you who's in, who's out. Gives you the team line out, who's going to play and all that. And then on the Sunday, he does the the review, the whole review, well, the review of the match in great detail. It shows clips of all the goals. Fantastic. And there you go, there are my videos, videos, these are the channels to subscribe to, and that's what I think Newcastle will win the derby, and I've said 4-2, could be a lot of money there for me, or oh, total embarrassment and humiliation, oh my word, I think the same, anyway, thank you very much for watching my video, which is going over seven minutes I'm gonna say good night and have an amazing weekend and goodbye